Today we're going to be reviewing two different propellers for the Top 80 engine. I'm going to be flying the Helix T2HA and the new Eprops Scimitar. Both are 130 centimeter propellers for the 19 to 73 reduction Top 80 engine. One of the things that I really like about the Top 80 is that it's very efficient. I consistently burn less than three liters an hour, somewhere around 2.7 plus or minus two tenths, roughly. Uh, another thing that I like about it is that it's fairly quiet. One thing that I don't like about it is it's not very powerful. My first 100 hours on this engine was with a 125 centimeter wood prop. Then I upgraded to the Helix, hoping for improved climb performance and flew that for the next 100 hours. And then I stumbled across the E-Props, which promised even better economy and lower noise and more power. So I gave that a try and I've been flying that for the last 25 hours. Um, I didn't really notice a huge difference um, between each switch, but that was largely because there were, you know, several days between each flight um, after having done the switch. Recently, I just switched back from the E-Props to the Helix and found that there was actually a pretty noticeable difference. A few things that I noticed about the Helix compared to the E-Props. The Helix uh, spooled up much more quickly. There was much less high-end vibration, which is why I swapped out the E-Props in the first place. And uh, it seemed to run about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than the E-Props. On the downside, it seemed to produce less power and seemed to run at a higher RPM and produce a little bit more noise. So the plan for today is to try to quantify those differences. I'm going to fly for about five minutes level flight until I get a stabilized cylinder head temperature and RPM and record those values. Then I'm gonna descend below a thousand feet. Uh, launch elevation is about 900 feet. Descend below a thousand feet, smoothly roll on full power, start a timer at a thousand feet, and stop the timer when I hit 3,000 feet. I'm going to do two climbs like that. I'm going to know RPM at three different altitudes and stabilize cylinder head temperature in the climb. And then I'm also going to record the time to make that 2,000 foot climb. I'm going to do two of those for each propeller and we'll see what kind of data we can get. This footage is between flights. I'm bringing the fuel level back up to exactly three liters. For anyone curious about initial conditions, uh, I tried to make them as close to identical between flights as I possibly could. Uh, 205 pounds is what's attached to the wing. Each flight started with three liters of fuel. Surface temperature was about 74 degrees Fahrenheit, launch elevation 900 feet. The wing is a 24 meter ozone roaster too. Did not touch the trimmers between flights. Um, I think that the comparison between the two props should be pretty reflective of the characteristics of each prop only. I'm not going to take you guys along for the full data collection flights. Uh, what we're going to do for the remainder of the video is we're going to uh, take a listen to cruise trials and climb trials, see if we can hear any difference between each propeller. We'll just listen to them back to back. Then we'll compare the numerical data at the end. And then I'll share with you my thoughts on each propeller. We'll start now by comparing the climbs. Obviously, I don't actually have the ability to calculate climb rate to within one foot per minute. Raw data is included in the video description. What we see is roughly a 40 foot per minute increase in climb rate with the E-Props. We see an increase in cylinder head temperature. Uh, that's where it's stabilized with the E-Props by about 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And we also saw a reduction in climb RPM by about 500 uh, RPM throughout the entire climb. I suspect that the increase in CHT is due to an increased load on the E-Props compared to the Helix. Uh, 
Here we can see for each propeller to produce the same amount of thrust, the EPROP spins more slowly. It's at the expense of an increase in cylinder head temperature. So after gathering some data for each propeller, which is better? I think that both propellers have their own merits. Both are great props. You can't go wrong with either one. However, I think I'm going to keep the E-props on my paramotor for now. As you can see in this outro footage, I do like dumping altitude in the form of wing overs and asymmetrics. And if the climb rate of the E-props, even though it's just a little bit, uh, little bit better than the Helix, if that can give me one more set that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise have, I'll take it. I also feel incredibly privileged to be able to fly and fly where I fly, and I think that noise is probably the biggest threat to that. The EPROPS is definitely quieter. I don't know if you can hear it in the comparison footage, but I can hear it from, uh, from the paramotor as I'm flying. Uh, again, I've had no noise complaints so far, but if the EPROPS can help mitigate that in the future, I'll certainly take it. Along with the lower RPM of the EPROPS, I think that that will yield better economy, although I don't have data for that yet. I think time will tell. The Helix, on the other hand, I do think uh, puts a lesser load on the engine, and you see that with the reduction in cylinder head temperature and a slightly better throttle response with the Helix. I think that's just because there's, there's less load on the propeller. It's quicker to spool up, even though it's roughly twice the weight of the EPROPS. I did also notice a slight increase in smoothness with the Helix. I think that that's largely due to the crushable hub of the EPROPS. It's more difficult to get the alignment just right with the EPROPS, although when you do, this difference in smoothness is not significant. This latest installation of the EPROPS, I think I did just right. The vibration was about the same for both propellers. I hope this video was helpful to you if you're considering uh, either propeller. I sure had fun making it. Thanks for watching.